In this video, I'll be showing how to install and set up Laravel. So we'll be needing XAM, Composer, and a text editor. In this case, we'll be using Visual Studio Code. You check the description of this video for all the links mentioned. So to download XAM, you go to this website, apachefriends.org. So you can download from Windows, Linux, and Mac OS. So to download, you just click on this uh, download for windows depending on your operating system so you download the appropriate one for you so i will not be downloading it because i have downloaded it already so next we go to composer to download the composer just click on this download button so once you're here you just click on download download composer setup.exe you just click on this link and composer will be downloaded like so so yeah, I have it already, so it's showing here. I will just click on skip since I've downloaded it already. Close this. So after doing that, we go to Visual Studio Code. So to download Visual Studio Code, you just click on down this button here, download for Windows. It shows download for Windows because of my operating system. If your operating system is not Windows, it will indicate that download for your specific operating system. So once you're done downloading, Minimize the browser for now. You go to your download directory. Monkey's this is it. So I have it here composer, ZAMP, and uh, Visual Studio Code. So first, we we'll start by installing ZAMP. To do that, just double tap on it on ZAMP. Minimize. A dialog box comes up asking for administrative privileges. Just tap on yes. Tap on yes. Tap on OK. So click on next. Click on next. So this is where example will be installed. If you don't want that, you can just click here to change the directory. Choose the directory. But I'm not going to change. I'll go with the default. Click on next. So we have this language is English and Dutch. I'll leave English. Click on next. Click on next again. So Zam is being installed. It will take a while. I'll come out once it's done downloading. Okay, Zam has been installed. Just click on finish. Next, we'll go back to our download directory. We install Composer. So let me emphasize, make sure you install Zam first before Composer. So to install Composer, you just double tap. So you click on install for all users. Tap on it. So the dialog box comes up, click on yes. So you click on next. So as you can see, it has detected a PHP on our system. So just click on next. Click on next. Click on install. Click on next. So click on finish okay so composer has been installed next let's install vs code you go here double tap on vs code minimize this so you accept the agreement accept click on next so next click on next so check this just check this click on next click on install Okay, so VS Code has been installed. For now, I'll just close and click on Finish. Okay, we are done installing XAM, Composer, and VS Code. Next, let's go to our browser. So go to the Laravel website. Click on Get Started. Okay, so you scroll down. So to create a Laravel project, you can either run this command, this one, or this one. So this is a difference between it between the two. This one install, this second one install Laravel, installs Laravel globally. That means once you install Laravel using this command, this composer global require Laravel in slash installer. Whenever I want to create a project, a Laravel project, you don't need to run this command again. You only just write Laravel new, then the name of your project, the example project, for example. That's how you'll be doing. But if you go with this first command, this composer create project Laravel Laravel example app which is the name of a pro the example app will be the name of your project. 
if you use this command i mean whenever you want to create a laravel project you always need to run this command in full excuse me in full but if, if you go with the second one once you run this one you run this one the first time then the next now you run this one to create a laravel project if let's say after two days you want to create a laravel project you don't need to run everything here you don't need to run this one you only just need to run this laravel new then this example app is the name of the project so that's the difference between the two so for this tutorial i'll be going with the first one you click here to copy or minimize this so now you know, click here and tap zam so open zam click on start start apache and start my sql so after starting then just minimize next let's go now go here we'll go to a direction where we install them exam when exam is installed we go to your drive c in my own case since it was installed in my drive c so i have the exam folder enter it so we'll go here to ht dots so this way i want to create my laravel project it's not compulsory you can create it anywhere on your computer it must not be in this directory so i'll go here just tap here type cmd so I just paste the command i copied earlier from the laravel website i'll change the name of this my project i will instead name it lara app so make sure the name of your project is one way there should be no space between so after doing so i'll just click enter to create a project well okay now we have this error so to fix this we we'll just minimize this minimize this go to exam just close everything close stop them excuse me so we have an apache you just click on the config click on it so you go to this so we have php we have php.ini you just click on that it opens in notepad you just press on your keyboard ctrl f to find you just type zip click enter so this comes up where well, we have this zip here you just go Remove well, we remove this colon, this semicolon, excuse me. Remove it after doing so. You just control S to save, excuse me. Close this control S to save, or you go up here, click here, click on save. After the saving, you close. Then we start a exam. Click on Apache and click on MySQL. After doing so, you go back to your command prompt and rerun the command. I'll just rerun, enter. So as you can see, we no longer have the error. It is now quitting our project, our Laravel project. So this may take a while. Okay, so our Laravel project has been created successfully. To open it now in VS Code, you just type this code. Then the name of the project, I think it was Lara underscore app. Once you type that, you click enter. Okay, so by doing that, it has opened our project in VS Code. So now we are in VS Code. You can check all of this up, go model, scroll down and check all of this public folder. So yeah, our project has been created. Just minimize this. Now to view our project in the browser, you go here up here, we have terminal, you just click on it, new terminal, click. Okay, now you type this command. So once you type the command, you click enter. So you now have this link. You can either copy it and paste in your browser or you just press control on your keyboard, then click. Press and hold control, then click on the link. So it opens in your browser. So basically this is how our project looks. And this is a default layout. So basically this brings us to the end of this video if you have any suggestions or questions you can leave them in the comment section below and if this video helped you in any way please give it a like and subscribe to my channel i will see you in my next video thank you